Harsh Command is an odd skill. It's an assist skill with a pretty simple effect. It converts penalties on the target into bonuses, or simply stated, it turns debuffs into buffs. Fire Emblem Heroes has had a huge influx of debuffing type skills for quite some time now. We have the area of effect smoke type skills, the long distance ploy skills, the single target chill skills, and we also have the improved weaponry that can apply even more debuffs, like the recent spring unit mages. There has been a continued stream of debuffing effects introduced to the game, but the one skill that should counter all of these is nowhere to be seen. Harsh Command in theory should be absolutely viable with all the various debuffs out there. However, this skill has been forgotten and thrown aside since the very start of the game. I made a similar video discussing how the Brash Assault B skill could be improved, and I would say even that skill saw more usage than Harsh Command ever has before it became a Sacred Seal. Harsh Command is undoubtedly not a great assist skill, and in this video I'll go over why that is and then provide some ideas for how we can make it better. So let's go over some pros and cons of the skill purely based off its effect. One good thing about Harsh Command is that the debuff it converts becomes a positive buff for your ally. This applies to all debuffs on the unit, and these new buffs are considered field buffs, which do affect a bunch of different scenarios. Just looking at this, it's a pretty powerful effect, since the enemy is basically making your ally stronger for you. However, there are some major cons to Harsh Command that makes it really difficult to actually use in a battle. First off, Harsh Command is not a status, meaning you cannot use Harsh Command on an ally until they actually have a debuff. A lot of debuffs apply at the start of the enemy phase, which means you can't do anything to counter them until your player phase rolls around. At this point, your allies may already be dead because the enemy was able to take advantage of their lowered stats. Even if your team survives and is debuffed, your Harsh Command user has to waste a turn to actually use a skill on a teammate. In a battle where multiple units are involved, wasting one turn just to buff a teammate is not fun, and then there is the issue of multiple allies being debuffed. A ploy or smoke type skill can hit your entire team, but Harsh Command will only work on one ally. Last, Harsh Command does nothing against Panic. Panic is not a debuff despite its description. The Panic status will turn all positive buffs into negative buffs, and this is in fact different than a debuff. Panic is everywhere these days, especially in the arena, and it would have been nice for Harsh Command to revert those negative buffs as well. Considering the lifespan of Fire Emblem Heroes, just what are the current problems with Harsh Command being so bad? First off, it's incredibly situational to the point where it's not even worth using. Movement assist skills are so powerful, and you can use them literally every turn for different purposes. Buffing skills or HP affecting assist skills also have their own uses and can fit into specific strategies for a team. Harsh Command requires the enemy to apply debuffs, and if they don't have any, then it's a completely useless skill. Harsh Command is also not that great against debuffs that start on the enemy phase, such as ploy type skills or chill skills. Let's say one full turn has passed and now my Nino is affected by chill speed. I can Harsh Command this to now give Nino a plus 7 speed buff, but when the enemy phase starts again, chill speed reactivates and applies its minus 7 speed debuff and the two cancel each other out. At this point, it's just not powerful enough and its lack of usage points to the fact that it's not worth the effort. Last, I am again going to emphasize that Harsh Command does nothing against Panic. Panic is just as relevant as the other types of debuffs, but because of the way it works, it goes unaffected by Harsh Command. It's not unbeatable, but I think Harsh Command should have at least cancelled it out, or at least had some kind of interaction with it. Now one potential change that I think can be made to make Harsh Command more viable is that it should become an actual status like the way Panic is. Panic can last a whole turn, and if Harsh Command's effect could do the same, then I think it can gain some much needed power. First off, this would mean you could apply Harsh Command on an ally at any time, not only when they are being debuffed. If an ally protected by Harsh Command were to be hit by an enemy phase debuff, then it could be countered and turned against them. Now I do think this could potentially be too powerful, and I say this because the AI is not smart enough to realize that the player could easily take advantage of it by purposefully getting hit by debuffs. Even though this would still make Harsh Command pretty situational, it desperately needs some kind of buff when those situations arise. I also had a few rework ideas for Harsh Command, but I think these would be very unlikely to happen. First, let Harsh Command work on Panic's negative buffs. Panic Ploy in particular is super annoying and prevalent in arena defense teams, and I think Harsh Command should combat against it in some way. Now I think this would be an unlikely addition because you can avoid being hit by Panic in a few ways. Against weapons with Panic, you can avoid being hit completely in battle, and for Panic Ploy, you can either have more HP than the user, or you can just not stand in the same cardinal direction. Like I said, Panic is very beatable, but I still believe Harsh Command should interact with it somehow. My second rework idea is to scrap Harsh Command's current effect and grant it a new one that acts like a status which prevents debuffs for one turn. Unlike the change I talked about in the last slide, this effect would not turn debuffs into buffs, but simply just neutralize them. 
There have been a bunch of weapons and skills that neutralize enemy buffs, but why not have a way to neutralize debuffs on your own units? I wouldn't be surprised to see this type of effect just on its own in the future. With this status, you can either neutralize a debuff on an ally to let them make an attack, or you can plan ahead for the enemy phase and make sure somebody is safe from an incoming debuff. It would still be situational, but I think it would at least be easier to use during an actual battle. Those were just some of my thoughts about Harsh Command and I wanted to make this video because the recent spring banner was pretty heavy on adding more debuffing effects. Of course there has always been the meme of a Harsh Command meta, but I think it's safe to say that this will not happen anytime soon unless it gets changed somehow. Assist skills in general haven't really had a major shakeup and I think Makai's unique sacrifice skill has been the only non-rally assist skill added since launch. It would be nice to see new assist skills of some kind. Maybe a reworked and buffed up Harsh Command could be the start. What do you guys think of Harsh Command in its current state, and how would you buff or change it? Leave a comment below because I think it's clear that this poor skill needs some kind of buff. There are so many debuffing effects these days and still no one uses Harsh Command. Maybe it's secretly OP, you know I could be completely wrong here. Anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.